When people ask me what I want for Christmas, I always struggle because the camera equipment that I want is usually really expensive and I'd hate for somebody to drop that sort of wonga just because it's Christmas. So I've made a list of all the equipment and accessories that I couldn't live without and the best thing is they're within most people's budget for Christmas. And this list includes everything from spare batteries and accessories to bags, lights, creative filters and even drones. Now they might already have some of these things so it's definitely worth checking with them beforehand but having spares is a godsend especially when it comes to things like batteries and SD cards. Before we jump straight into the list, I've divided these items up into three categories. We've got boring essentials slash spares, creative thingamajigs, and you must really love them. Now that's the category that is a little bit more expensive. So that's for the really special people in your life. Now the Amazon links to all of these items are down in the description below. So if you're looking for anything, that's where you'll find it. Right, let's jump into the list. I'm excited. <laughs> Right, so these are the boring yet essential items. I hate spending money on things like this, but they are absolutely vital and there's nothing worse than being on a shoot or doing a job and you run out of battery or you run out of room on your SD cards. It's just panic stations all around. So somebody gave me a battery, a spare battery for my camera for Christmas. I'd absolutely love it. You just can't have enough of them. So number one, Camera batteries. Now obviously it all depends on what camera you're using, so you're gonna need to double check the model number. Again, it might be worth just sending them this video and then they can tell you exactly what they want. You can even get dummy batteries. So they still look the same, but they've got a cable running off of them and it plugs into the wall, so you've got endless power supply and that's great if you don't need to move the camera about. Still on the topic of batteries, we've got accessory batteries. They work on things like camera sliders, monitors, lights, all sorts of stuff so I highly recommend picking up a couple of these bad boys <laughs> they come in different sizes obviously the bigger they are the longer they last and these are incredible I've tested a bunch of them out and these ones that I'll leave a link to in the description are still affordable but they last so long they're amazing SD cards now it's worth spending a little bit more in this area because I've had cards before again it was one of those things that I didn't used to like spending money on so I bought the cheap ones and then I got a load of really good drone footage, got back and the card corrupted. You don't want that to happen. So I recommend these Pro Grade. Because I shoot a lot of video in 4K, I need the higher read and write speeds. I also like the SanDisk ones, they're great. They come in all different sizes, so depending on what you're doing and how many pictures or how much video footage you shoot, the higher you go, the more data you're gonna be able to retain on those cards. We're getting a little bit more excited now. I've got this multi-tool by Small Rig, a really good brand. This is just great because it's got loads of different tools in it. You've got screwdrivers, Allen keys, star keys on there, and also this little flathead thing, which is perfect for the tripod mounting plate, thumb screws underneath. Ideal, love this. I pretty much got that out all the time because I'm constantly switching. But having this little tool, all in one tool, in your bag at all times or on your desk, in your drawer, whatever, is a lifesaver. Well within budget. This is a fun one. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what they're called. I think air blaster or air duster, air blower, something like that. And basically, so you can wipe your lenses, but that sometimes they can leave a little bit of dust. So what you do is just hold it upside down and then you blow the air onto it and that gets rid of any remaining particles. You can also clean your sensor with these like that. Again, hold it upside down and just give it a blast. One of those things that I never had, but now that I've got it, I won't be able to live without. I use it all the time. Couple more spare items, especially for videographers, HDMI cables. Now my camera takes the stupid micro HDMI adapter. They have a tendency to snap sometimes, so you've got to be very careful. But that's why I like having spare ones of these. As you can see, I've got a bunch of them. But what's good about these as well is they're hyper thin, hyper flexible. So if you're using a gimbal or a cage, for example, and you've got these, you can easily wrap them round and keep your cable management nice and tidy and you don't have this thick cable that's difficult to move around. Love that. Come in different lengths, as you can see, uh, and different ends as well. I'll leave a link below, but make sure you double check which type you need. Love having spare cables. One of those things, again, hate spending money on them, but having them is great. What I wouldn't recommend is one of these. <laughs> 
got one of these for Christmas last year. In fact, we won like a cheap one in the Christmas cracker and I got obsessed. Never done it before. Got absolutely obsessed. Had to figure out how it was done. Went out on Boxing Day the next day to get this one. And uh, I don't think I spoke to anybody for about three days. Uh, but now I can do it, so... But yeah, it's a bit of a distraction. There we are, done. See what I mean, don't get one of those. I'm meant to be filming a video and I'm just sat there spending a couple of minutes doing this instead. Moving on. Right, next category. This is the exciting stuff now. Creative thingy-majigs. Start with this one. Gobe, or Gobe, or Gobi. Do some great stuff, and you don't have to package this one, because look, it comes in this cool little tube thing, and a little sack. But yeah, for every purchase made with Gobe, they'll plant trees. So I like that. Any company that look after, or is at least conscious of the environment, I like that. They are called star filters, and they come in different types, four, six, and eight. When you put these over your lens, you just screw them on. Basically what it does is when there's a light source in the frame, it turns it into a little star. So. Look at that. And the good thing about these is you can actually rotate the element and have the star facing where, whichever way you like. So look at that. Love these things. It's one of my favorite effects. And then we've got a couple more filters that I want to show you. The CineSoft filter by Tide. And basically what it does, it softens the image slightly and it kind of gives you like a retro film look. They come in two different strengths. So this is the standard version. As you can see, it softens the skin tones a little bit and then any light sources, it makes them nice and soft. Look at the light on my phone, it's nice and soft. If I take it off, see that? And there's a bit more detail without. There's a full video that you can see up here of both of these on my channel for a bit more of an overview of what these filters can do. And then the subtle version is as what it says on the, on the tin. It's just a more subtle version basically so there's not too much of that effect. And again, Tide Optics are a great company. They donate a portion of their profits to an ocean charity and I stand by that 100%. These tube lights are amazing. It's RGB, so you can choose which colours. You can even choose the brightness, the strength, and the saturation of these colours as well. And they're really handy for anything, really. Product photography, lighting. I could light me now with, for this video using just this one light. It's really bright. You can change the modes, and you've got effects in here as well. So we've got like a camera flash or lightning effect. Loads of different effects to choose from. There we go, let me scroll through the colors so you can see. So as you can see, you've got loads of flexibility. Whatever project you're working on, you can dial in a color to match. So I love these things, I use them all the time. I've got one in the background there. Nice to add just a little bit of something. They're magnetic, that one's magnetized there to that shelf. You can hang them on things, all sorts, really handy. I've seen photographers use them at weddings before when they haven't got quite enough light and they can just pin them onto something. You can also mount them to, sorry, I'm blinding myself, let me switch it off. <laughs> you can mount them to tripods as well because they've got little threads on either side. They're just great. I recommend this one from Iwata Tech, but loads of different brands do them. This is my favorite. Then we've got these, I'm sure you've seen them before, these little bendy leg tripods. These are amazing, but you've got to make sure you get the right ones because some of the affordable ones have plastic joints and they, over time, they can snap and become a little bit less rigid. Whereas these ones, they're called the Pro versions, they're actually aluminium. So they're a lot stronger, lasts a lot longer, especially if you've got a heavier camera, for example. But I've got the 3K Pro kit version, which comes with the ball head, nice and easy to use. You can mount them anywhere you like with these bendy legs, wrap them around trees, posts, whatever you want, or just use them as a standard tripod on your desk like that and you can put your monitor on top your camera whatever will mount to that thread so highly recommend these use them every single day they also come in different sizes as well so depending on your camera you can get smaller ones or larger ones I've got sort of like the the medium to higher one quick release plates amazing if you don't know what they are basically you attach one part to the underneath of your camera and then another part to different tripods or different things that you mount your camera to 
and that means you don't have to keep undoing the screws on the individual things and change it every time you want to change appliance basically super handy you just literally again i'll leave a video up here i've got a full video explaining these and showing how they work in fact I'll show you you would mount this part to your tripod and the other bit to your camera and then you just slide that in nice and easily that is it and that's locked in place it's not going anywhere you can lock it even further if you're worried about it but then you just press that button to release it and slide it straight off love those things you don't have to mess about twisting the thumb screws anymore pick up a few of those and they're life savers time savers everything savers basically then we've got something that a lot of people don't actually use, but I highly recommend them. They are a little bit on the pricier side, which is why I've left it a little bit later on in the list, but definitely worth picking up. It's called the Color Checker Passport Video. You can get photo versions of these, but to be honest, this one is great. You can basically check your exposure, your white balance, and make sure your colors are spot on in camera, either before you start filming, or you can correct your colors after. Love this thing, it's amazing. And then on this side, you've also got like a, a focus checker as well. I'm gonna have a full video on this coming soon, so if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Now, another thing that photographers and videographers use are like presets, LUTs, or filters, essentially. I sell a lot of these assets on my website, so, Head over there and you can have a look what's available. I've got Lightroom presets, I've got video LUTs, I've also got audio presets as well. So if there's anything that they would like off there, they can choose something. This shameless plug, I know, but it's stuff that I use a lot and I know a lot of people benefit from them. So this is why I'm sharing this as a great little gift idea. Next section, these are the more slightly expensive items on the list, but definitely worth picking up if possible, or even just putting a bit of money towards if you can. First of all, Manfrotto, one of the leading brands when it comes to bags and carry cases and stuff like that. Extremely well-made stuff Manfrotto make, and they've recently released a massive new line of bags and cases and all sorts of stuff definitely worth checking out this is the new one they've just sent me super comfortable super lightweight for a, for a large bag come in different sizes and different versions so it's definitely worth checking out what they've got on the website look at all that compartment space I've taken out some of the dividers actually they're over there but you can customize this however you like so if you want three camera bodies in there or a drone lenses you can make it however you want it's got a compartment for laptop and filters in there all sorts you can access the camera or your stuff from this top bit as well it's just great it's amazing plenty of compartments so whatever you need to fit it'll take with you on a trip it's guaranteed it's gonna go in this bag now this next one I'm actually using it right now it's called the Godox ML 60 light it's super lightweight and it's great for weddings or location shoots because you can actually power it by either the mains or these batteries like I talked about before and because of the size it's super compact you can take it anywhere with you and I've got it set up just on this desk because it's really lightweight it's perfect for, for that this is more of a videography tool but doesn't not to say photographers can't use them as well an external monitor now this is the Atomos Ninja 5 but if you want a slightly cheaper version, I've got the Shinobi that I'm using right here. Full video about both of these and the differences between them, I'll link it up here. Definitely worth checking out, they're incredible tools. One of the leading brands when it comes to monitors, so many features, really high quality stuff. And the benefit to an external monitor is basically you, you can see what you're capturing on a larger screen rather than these tiny little LCD screens on the back of your camera. And they can be quite difficult to see especially on a on a bright day if you're filming outside last but not least drones now I've got the DJI Mavic 3 here which is pretty much almost like the top spec one on the market at the moment brand new but if you if you don't want to spend that much on it there's a I've recently released a video on the Mavic Mini 2 which I think is the perfect drone for YouTube or beginners just because of the size and weight the ease of use and the picture quality is absolutely fine especially for a beginner in fact it's really good so I hope this list and this video has helped you give you some ideas again just double check with them make sure you're getting the right items for them because we don't want you getting the wrong things check all the brands the types the 
the sizes, lengths, shapes and all that with them. Maybe send them this video and they can choose them themselves and send you the links to the things they want. But if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible before Christmas to give you plenty of time to get the right things. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials and all that sort of good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and have a great Christmas and Happy New Year.